Hey everyone, what's going on? Well, today's video, we're taking you to church. Well, no, that's not entirely true. Today we are going to a garage sale inside the church. The church is having a rummage sale and it's an annual thing. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty big, and there's a lot of great stuff. If you don't know who I am, my name is Roy. I go to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, thrift shops, just about anywhere I can to find undervalued items that I can flip online and sell for a profit. Normally I would have my wife with me because she loves going to these things with me, but unfortunately today she had some appointments so she couldn't go, so it's just me. And we're getting ready to head inside because the crowd is starting to build up over there and we want to get in line so that way we can get it some first picks let's get going all right here we go <laughs> I do. That's yeah, awesome. I do. Excuse me. Yeah. So I went and did a little walking around already. I filled up two Ikea bags, but I think I'm gonna go back in that church and look around just a little bit more to see what else we can find. I've got a lot here already. Nothing worth a tremendous amount of money that I could see, but things that are gonna definitely earn a profit. So got me another fresh Ikea bag. Got one down in my pocket. I'm gonna put a fresh battery in the camera and we're ready to go. Bible Mason Master Edition. I think that's pretty good right there. Global West Germany, $10. I think that's going to sell pretty good. I'll put that in there carefully. All right, so I'm done with the church sale. Got some few finds. Uh, I think I'm gonna head home unless I see another garage sale. Well, it is the next day and we are back in the treasure center. Now I've already set up some stuff up here on the table for us to talk about, but I also have 
two bags over here for us to talk about. So I'm going to run through these items really quickly to show you what I picked up from that garage sale at that church. And some of these items are items that you saw in the video and some of them aren't because I didn't have the camera on the whole time. But real quickly, I want to tell you about something that happened yesterday. After I went to the garage sale at that church, I decided I was going to go to maybe a couple more garage sales, but there really wasn't any other garage sales out there. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick stop at a thrift store. Well, let me go ahead and start setting the scene for you right now. I have not been in this thrift store for probably about four months. And the last time I was in this thrift store, it started raining and pouring down like crazy. So you probably have an idea of where I'm going with this. Well, let me go ahead and show you the clip of what happened when I got to the thrift store. Getting ready to go into Thrift City and I just wanted to point out the clouds because the last time I was at Thrift City, it was pouring down rain. So maybe I'm bringing the rain to this thrift shop. While I was inside that thrift store, it was pouring down rain so hard that there really isn't any good footage for me to, to show you or talk about about what I went shopping for, what I found or anything like that because it was just so noisy from the lightning and the metal roof on the building with all the rain coming down. So I thought it was best while I was in that thrift store just to go ahead and leave because that rain was really coming down. And let me tell you, in South Texas, when we get rain, uh, sometimes it can be a gully washer of a rain and flash flooding you know that's what comes down sometimes it doesn't last for about 30 minutes but let me show you what happened when i left the thrift store well it did start pouring raining while i was in there and this is what i'm driving through right now we are got a gusher of rain coming down and it is dang near up to the floorboards of some of these vehicles so this is, i'm driving through a river we are going down this access road where they're doing construction and it has become a river. So this is why you do not see any footage from a thrift store and this is why it's the next day and we're back here in the treasure center. So let me go ahead and start talking about these items on the table. This is a Kenyo VHS Rewinder and that's all it is if you've never seen one or if you haven't been around long enough, you just take a VHS tape and stick it in there. People that still have VCRs and VHS players uh, this is a fast way to rewind the cassette and whenever I see these I pick them up because usually they're pretty cheap This one was two dollars and they will sell for just about 15 to 25 dollars depending on the brand Next I picked up these now. I think you didn't see this in the video, but you did see this so we'll start with it This is a sugar container. It's Tupperware and it says Tupperware down here on the bottom right there and Inside here you push the button it locks uh, this one's got tweezers, so I suppose it could be used for uh, to hold ice for mixed drinks. So maybe that would be good for that. But I think originally it was a sugar container. I could be wrong. But that should sell for about $15. And this little pitcher is also Tupperware. This is an old vintage pitcher. And you see I paid 50 cents for both of these. And this one just easily just opens up, locks back down. And it's great to put in your refrigerator, keep cold drinks. And this thing right here probably should sell for, I don't know, $10, $15. Now, I actually picked up this Hawaiian girl. And it looks like it's never been opened. Uh, had it, well, maybe it did. Hold on. Oh, it has been opened. Okay. Let's see if we can get her out. Maybe. How do you get her out of there? She's stuck forever. We'll get her out one way or another. I'm going to tell you that. And there she is. This is one of those Car Dash Weeble Wobble Hula Girls. And some of these can be very valuable. I didn't even look her up. 25 cents, I just picked it up. Anyway, I thought I would pick that up because some people like to collect little Dash Hula Girl dancers. All right, here I've got two Thomas Kincaid salt and pepper shakers. Now, I usually don't pick up Thomas Kincaid because they don't make too much money. And this one is missing the bottom stopper. I might actually have another one that'll fit that. This one says Sw Sweetheart Cottage. It's got a little cottage with a bridge on there. I don't know if you can see it. And this one says Hidden Cottage. But they were 25 cents, so uh, I couldn't pass those up. I had to pick them up. I also picked up some salt and pepper grinders. These were a dollar. And salt and pepper grinders can do pretty good. Now these, I think they still got salt and pepper in them, but these are no name that I can see. So probably, I don't know, probably one pair for salt and pepper will get probably about 15 to $20, maybe. 
and then a single one like this probably eight to ten dollars but still for a dollar couldn't pass it up all right you probably saw me pick this up and this was a lennox vase and it says lennox down there on the bottom and it also has a property of somebody but this right here was a very very pretty pretty vase they had it for five dollars and i've talked about before in my other videos lennox doesn't sell for very much but some of these can have some good value to them this one has no chips it's got really good nice little painting on there so i'm going to try to see if we can't get somewhere between 30 dollars for it 20 20 dollars 30 dollars for it and some of these can go actually up to 50 dollars trying to break stuff already all right and you probably saw me pick this up this is a statue of liberty i just couldn't pass up picking up a statue of liberty it comes with its paperwork and some of the little things sell pretty good this one was made in 1984 and i just i don't know sometimes these collectibles can be worth something this one may not be worth anything but if there's a comp to this i'll pop it up so you can see what it will sell for now this was something i had never come across before and it was called tai cheng beach body and they had it displayed just like this on the table so i picked it up and inside is a complete never opened book manual for it easy does it guide tai chin it's got all the little there's got just three manuals in there and when and when i got home now i did kind of look this up on comps when i got home uh this actually will sell for about twenty dollars so uh, that was pretty impressed with that being brand new all right the next thing i did is probably something you shouldn't do and that is when it comes to old 35 millimeter cameras uh you should probably research them before you pick them up me i just grabbed them and went with them and they were asking five dollars a piece for them so this one here actually has two film cases is the film good oh brand new film okay so we got some brand new film there and looks like brand new film in here probably yep so two brand new film cartridges don't know how good they are but this is a vivitar easy 3 af this i had looked it up to comps after i got home just a little while ago um, and this right here doesn't sell for very much at all so i'm probably only gonna get about ten dollars plus shipping out of that if i'm lucky but maybe with the film cartridge in there someone will want it this one is seems to be the same way it's probably got brand new film cartridges so we'll check yep brand new film cartridges so it comes with two brand new film cartridges as well and this one is a pentex iq zoom 80s and this one i know is working because i can see the date on there it just needs to be adjusted but this i looked it up and this sells for about 30 dollars. so i'll get my money out of those cameras and a little bit of profit so that'll be good all right so this right here i didn't even look up or comp that this is a ge microphone and it comes with this little charger and paperwork so that's going to be good it was actually inside of a 24 value card christmas box so i don't know if that has any value it might maybe i'll get ten dollars for it maybe i'll get 15 20 who knows i'll look it up and see what it's worth but for a couple dollars i thought it was worth it and then i picked up some it says walkie talkies and these are cobra little mini walkie talkies the cobra mini walkie talkies uh, again is one of those things that doesn't have much value but for three dollars you can't pass it up um, they do look like they're in really good condition got all their parts and pieces i didn't try them out to see if they worked or not and it does have its paperwork and it also comes with a dual charger which is i think kind of funny because when you need a dual charger you need batteries in these that are rechargeable and i can tell you by the weight of them right now there are no batteries in there so maybe if i got some rechargeable batteries um i could put them in there and sell it for a little bit more or i can just sell it without and just say hey get your own rechargeable batteries but for, again for three dollars couldn't go wrong all right so i went ahead and got the rest of the stuff out so we could talk about it this is a samsung vhs dvd combo this is the dvd v1000 and it says ten dollars on there but she only charged me five dollars for that so that was really nice and yeah it looks like it's to be in pretty good condition overall and it also comes with its remote control so that's a good thing 
and when I looked these up on comps, this will sell for about $50. All right, so I went ahead and moved the VCR out of the way, so that way we could talk about this stuff here. This was a little Batman minifig. Uh, all little toys were 25 cents each. This was it isn't very much at all. It could probably sell for about five, six, seven dollars. A little profit. This was a little plate, and it's pretty neat. It's a little potter. It looks like guy sitting at a pottery wheel. And the thing about this is, it says the joint exhibit of the American Pottery, New York. 1939 so i thought that was really good for a dollar who knows what i get for it we'll list it and see what happens then i picked up all these plates now this would have been a lot better if these would have been a different color besides white but these are tupperware two dollars and fifty cents for the whole stack of them um you know there's what one two three Nine, four ten five. eleven twelve twelve of them so I ought to get about $20 for that plus shipping. But if they were the ones that had color to them, they'll sell a lot faster, like blue, orange, red, you know, different kind of colors. They'll sell a whole lot faster. And some of these will go up to $30, $40. Back here, I picked up some metal TV trays for people that aren't old enough. Metal TV trays are something that we used to use when we were young. Uh, so that kind of tells you my age a little bit. But the uh, metal TV trays were 50 cents each, and this is a set of six of them, and these should sell for about, oh, I don't know, about $25 to $35 plus shipping. So pretty good find there. All right, this was really good. Now, being that it was a garage sale in a church, they didn't charge anything for any Bibles, but I picked this one up because this one is a Mason's Bible. This is the Holy Bible Master Reference Edition. And since they didn't charge me for this, I gave a couple of dollars extra. But this right here is really good overall condition. And this ought to sell for about $25 to $30. All right, right here I picked up a Parker pen. And I don't think you saw that on the video, but you might have. But mostly what I picked up this Parker pen for is old Parker pens whether they work or not sometimes will hold a lot of value and sometimes you got to look real closely at the gold trim that's on there because some of these will be like one tenth gold or gold filled so I'll look at that one later I don't see any markings on it but for a dollar hey it was worth picking it up and I'm, if I sell it for five dollars well at least I got something this right here is Goebel West Germany this is Mary uh, it's marked Goebel West Germany on the bottom now this let's get out of the bag so we can look at it this was really really nice find right there I can see it has a little chip right there but this ought to sell for tw again another 20 to 30 dollars so I did see some of them selling for upwards of 40 and 50 dollars uh, but this one like I said has that little chip right there so we'll just have to see what we can get for that and the last thing I picked up over here was this. It's called Badge a Minute. And Badge a Minute is something that, well, it's still used today, but people used to make badges. I was trying to see if there was any badges in here. It has all its parts and pieces. It has its instructions, the purchase price originally. What was the purchase price originally? $31. And that was probably back in 1989. But people used to make their own badges to and buttons to put to wear you know this is the backing of one so you could put it on your shirt and wear it and you put it, any kind of thing on there and crimp it and this will become its own little badge so it was four dollars um they should sell for about 20 to 30 dollars plus shipping so again i'll make my money back on that and then some well guys what do you think did i pick up some good items Leave me a comment. Tell me below. Tell me what items that you liked and let me know if I picked up some good items. Also, I hope you got some good information out of this video. If anything, I hope it was really entertaining. So everyone take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.